exiled former Mugabe's cabinet minister, who escaped after the November 2017 coup, has commended Malawi for taking power from the ruling party through help from the people, and expects Zimbabwe's movement for democratic change MDC alliance to harness such momentum and take over power from Nangagwa's ZANU PF. Professor Jonathan Moyo, an ardent Nangagwa critic hailing from Malawi, through his favorite communication platform called upon MDC Alliance to mobilize people against his enemy in a series of posts below. Dot four factors explain how Malawians reversed the 2019 theft of the presidential election, opposition unity, dot united support for the opposition by a cross-section of Malawian voices, dot a transparent, fearless and independent judiciary, and a professional and apolitical military, in Malawi's election, the military was with the people and the law. In Zim's election the military was against the people and the law. General Sibanda was right two days ago about the corruption of some bosses, but the most cancerous corruption in Zim is having a Zanup military. The Afzajim report on how it conducted the 2018 general election leaves no rational doubt that the presidential election was run illegally to steal it from Edna Sanchanissa. This was done through ZEC by the military, which committed atrocities on 1 August 2018 to save the theft despite the audaciously brazen theft of the 2018 presidential election by the military, and the 1 August 2018 atrocities, maybe as a result thereof, Chief Justice Luke Malabo presided over a sham con court hearing that endorsed the election theft, unmoved by the military atrocities having stolen presidential authority from Edna Sanchez of the military, which now controls state power, got Nangagwa to get parliament to steal legislative authority from the MDCA via phony recalls of its MPs, using a dubious Supreme Court judgment backed by MDCT sellouts against this background, the screaming question for Zim, to learn from Malawi is deafening. Why are Zimbabweans allowing the theft of their executive authority, judicial authority and now legislative authority to go unchallenged, by treating it as a Chimisa or MDCA thing? Why, since Zim's constitution provides that executive authority, judicial authority and legislative authority belong to the people, the abuse of this authority, to steal the 2018 presidential poll, endorse that theft and recall MDCA MPs, cheats the people, no Etna Sanchimisa and MDCA. It's therefore very wrong for Zimbabweans to expect Etna Sanchimisa and MDCA to fight alone against the system, which has usurped the constitutional authority of the people. Zimbabweans must fight together as one, just like Malawians. If Malawi did it, Zimbabwe can also did it.